Hey guys, this is Dallin Vick, and today we're going ice fishing with Jacob McKenzie. Um, this is like his sport, this is what he does for fun, so we're going to go see what it's like to be with him. And hopefully we enjoy it, it's about 5.30 here. About 18 degrees, freezing cold, so we're all bundled up, he'll be here in just a few minutes. Good morning, my friend. How is it going? Have you ever been to Manila? I've been near it, not actually. Yeah, no it. one ice fishes there. Sweet. Nobody. The only holes on the ice are from little kids throwing rocks at it. Well, that's annoying. That's not annoying, just weird. That's cute. Australian chicks, man. Turn right onto West Timpanagus Highway. I just take a super long time. It's hard to focus. I was doing laundry. Max, and I'm not actually related to him, but my aunt married his uncle, so that's how that works. He lives like on the left on that second house right there, so that's pretty sick. Here we are, Manila Pond at about 6.08 a.m. It's like we got some ice out there. We're gonna hop out and see how it goes. After he said that, the lion tried to eat him. <laughs> <coughs> and he ran and hid. The line wasn't even in the wild, it was chained up. Wow, that's he was terrified. pretty sketchy. He's like, I almost got killed. He did not. Alright, so here we've got some of our equipment. Amp chair, flashlights. Here's the auger. We're gonna go drill some beastly holes in the ice. A ladle, tackle box, and last but not least, Jacob with his rainbow hat. Here we are, pond. It looks like a sunrise is starting because of the camera settings, but it's not there. It's just, it's dark. All right, so now we are headed away from the car. There's Jacob, there's our little pond. And uh, we already went onto the ice and uh, drilled our holes with the auger. Now we're just headed back down. Once again, it looks like it's bright, but that's because I've got the uh, ISO cranked up all the way so you can actually see what's going on. In reality, it's pretty dark. Um, so, where was the last time? Is it this? Yes. Alright. You go for it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna toss my camera bag out onto the ice here. Let's see, do I have a flash? Nope, whatever. No, oh, that's a plastic bag, don't worry. I'm just gonna toss the bag out. There we go. Um here's the rope of safety. Jacob's holding the other end. And let's see, I'm just gonna head out onto this rock here. This is slightly sketchy. Those are coyotes. Dude, that's sick, we're hearing coyotes out there. Once again, it's pretty dark. Dude, that's sick. Wow, I don't know if that'll pick up the video, let's be quiet. Dang, that's so sick. I don't know where that's coming from. Down there. But that's so cool, dude. All right, onto the ice we go. Now, technically, you shouldn't get on when the ice is like that. But out there, it's perfectly safe. So we're just gonna go all the way out there, you know? They take it slow. You're gonna take it nice and slow so Jacob doesn't have a heart spasm. I think they call them heart attacks now. I should be good to stand up now, but we'll just wait for Jacob to get on. Yeah, you don't need to hold the authority of the road because you right. can't help me if I fall. 
Perfect, we're good. Now I can just head out onto the ice. Let's see how far we can slide. <laughs> I thought it was you, man. I did, I fell. <laughs> All the kids like to throw rocks in here and it's all shattered up, but we've got a good like four inches and that's about regulation size. Here's my camera bag so graciously tossed by Jacob. So we are nearing the ice holes. Once again, it doesn't actually, there's no sun sunrise out right now. Um, it just looks super bright. We got geese or something. Here we are at the scene of the crime. Just kidding. Here's my uh, bag for the chair. And the bag safety rope is gonna go between us. <clears throat> and a little hiking pole. And here's the hole. That's pretty sick. It's kind of an eerie feeling when you're looking down that far. Here's Jacob's. Um, here's all of our tools, the auger, tackle box, and now we're going to get started fishing. Now we're just going to get started and hopefully none of us fall in and we're safe. So. Nobody knows how to fish, like do all of it. Like for real? Yeah, nobody does. There's millions of ways to fish. All super bass and different. I love it. Learn something new every day. Mm-hmm. Not really every day, but... Yeah, I feel you. Okay, so Dallin, All right. you got a straight line reel, so you can't flip up a bale or anything to, you know, right. drop it. Yeah. And your lure is a little bit lighter. So what you're gonna do here, can you hand me the ladle? Sure. Right there, don't step on my pole or in the ice hole. It might be hard for you, your first ice fishing trip. It was hard for me. I was getting bites, but I never get them. Here's your lure. Now, what you do to drop it down is you just let out the line. See, watch that, that means it's sinking. Right. When it tightens. Mm -hmm. And you keep doing that until it doesn't tighten anymore. Okay. Which means you're at the bottom. Okay. And you want to be at the bottom. Yes. Once you get to the bottom, you reel up a few times. Are you kidding me? I had a fish. Shoot. Dude, that was insane. That was fast too. Yeah. Okay, let's drop it back down. Um, okay. What's your prediction? What are you gonna catch today? Uh, trout, bluegill, and sunfish. All three. I don't know which one will be biting the most. I want a big bluegill or a big trout. Makes sense. Those are some desirable fish. That was really crazy how they just fit like that. So yeah, you're just gonna keep letting it down. You feel the most. Right. And you wanna barely move it. Mm hmm And then stop. To get them biting. Stop for like 10 seconds. Okay. And you feel for the tiniest bite. And once you do, you just pop that thing all the way up. Just, just you literally hook go it like up this. in the mouth. Yeah. You all go boom. Like, no fear, just. And sometimes if you don't know if you have a fish, you slowly pull up, and if it kind of goes like that, then you just yank that thing. Right. Okay. So, here you go. Sit in your chair, feel for those tiny bites. All right. Jiggle it tiny, tiny bit. We'll stay here for a little bit. If we get no bites, we'll move to a different spot. All right, sounds good. Simple as that. All right, so I just shot. caught a fish right here out of that beautiful little pond right there. It's a little trout. Ooh, not a bad fish at all. Just popped him up out of that hole right there. Sorry, buddy. Now we're going to eat him. Sure, he's pretty small, but who's to say? This is Jacob in the light of day, enjoying his fishing out here. Should I just stab him in the head? Yeah. All right, second fish of the day, caught by me. Got a nice trout, about 10 inches long. She's a beaut. All right, here we are out on the pond. Jacob's hands are freezing because he keeps grabbing my fish off the hook for me. So that's the third one. We just kept the first, so I'm gonna eat it later. 
and then I just caught two more out of here. Uh, the lure I was using seems to be working really well. I think, oh yeah, here it is. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's the lure I'm using. It seems to work really well. All right, so we just finished fishing. Uh, there's our holes, caught about five fish. There's my uh, one I kept to eat. Um, yummy. And there's Jacob coming back, and we're just gonna take all of our junk inside and put the camera inside first, make a couple trips, and then we'll close up. So here we are. We are done fishing. We are just on the way home. And there's Jacob. Caught five fish today. We're five for five, even, both of us. And so it's pretty great. Jacob taught you all the tips on how to fish, ice fishing, looking for those bluegills, them big trout, them stockies. So, good stuff. Now we're about home. So, peace out. See y'all next time on the fishing channel. Just kidding, we're not the fishing channel. <laughs> all right, peace out.